Hi everyone, today we're going to transform this rather plain chest of drawers by adding some pull handles, also known as cup or scoop handles. You can paint them whatever colour you like and age them or distress them to suit your current decor. We'll be using the Cricut Maker Machine, Cricut Brand Craft Board, and the fine point blade and housing that comes with your machine and either the blue or green mat. Here I've cut mine in the brown craft board on a green mat. It's difficult to tell here but the top layer are slightly larger than the lower layer. They're the same width but six of them are slightly taller. I use my polymer clay needle tool to recreate a rivet effect in the taller of the six pieces. You can add as many as you like and as you push through from one side they create little raised bumps on the other side. So do all six of those if you want the rivet detail, if not leave them plain. Then use the handle of the tool to roll over the smaller pieces and create a nice curve. And then use the smaller piece of the tool, narrower piece, to create an even more defined curve or use the handle of a paintbrush. If you dry fit the small piece onto the large piece, you'll see that the rivet detail pushes the smaller front piece down. So we need to cut one mil off the bottom of the smaller front piece. It fits perfectly. Don't want the rivet detail, don't cut off the one mil strip and it will fit exactly. So whichever way you want to do it, glue all of these small front pieces onto the larger back piece and allow them to dry. Then take some cardboard and double side your masking tape, stick the handles down onto the masking tape, paint them whatever colour you like. I'm just brushing on some Inca Gold, I only needed one coat and it looks fab when it's finished. Again you can distress this down, add some black smudge marks, just generally have some fun. I can't resist metallic. Next thing we need to do is to glue them onto the drawers. I like to create a jig. This is simply something that you use over and again so that you get something in the exact same place. So here I am using a very high-tech piece of cardboard. It's slightly less than half the height of my drawer front. I've marked in from either end the distance where I'd like my handle to start and finish. And this enables me to glue the handles on the same place on every drawer front. It's simple but very effective. So we glue all six on, leave them to dry, and there we have the finished drawers. If you don't have craft board or you'd like a slightly less chunky handle, use the same file but cut them out of a lightweight cardstock instead. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel. Join us over on Facebook and Instagram at Spellbound Miniatures. The SVG files are available on Etsy or they're free every month included in our monthly membership group. Find all the links in the description below this video. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.